this ish right here is the bomb.com. Now my work is done. Drop the mic and walk out. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very fun one because drum rolls please. We are gonna make coconut milk Woo! why are we making coconut milk well why not one it's very easy to make two you end up saving a whole lot of money because all it cost me to buy this coconut fruit is a dollar and 28 cents and i know it's cheaper um at some other stores three is very fun to make and four the this almost fell. <laughs> and four, the only two ingredients you need is coconut and water. So you know exactly what is going into it. There's no chemicals, there's no um, preservatives. In addition to all of those amazing benefits, after you make your coconut milk, you can get coconut oil out of it, and you can also make coconut flour. So if you guys would like me to show you guys how to make coconut milk or coconut flour, leave me a comment below, and if enough of you tell me to do it, y'all know I listen to you. I'm gonna make that just for you. So enough of the talking, let's get into how we make it. Like I said, it's very easy to make. It's gonna um, take you 10 minutes or less to maybe if it's your first time, maybe 12 minutes, at, at most 15 minutes. But definitely, it's so simple to make. Um, and hopefully at the end of this video, each and every one of you can start making your own coconut milk. So, before we get into this great video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I see y'all watching the video, y'all feeling the video. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we do is we have to crack open this coconut fruit. Um, I know that they sell in, in the stores, they have like the fruit already in, in bags. If you can get that one, that's fine. But personally, I prefer um, to get the fruit whole so I can crack open it because the ones in the bags, one, I don't know how long that has been there. And if it's in a bag, it means it, it has some kind of um, preservative in there. Um, so I just prefer to get it whole and then I crack open it and I usually, I typically use like this kind of knife. If you have never done this before, please be very careful. If there's anybody in your home that has more experience with the knife, have them do this for you. Um, but I've been doing this since I was like six years old in Ghana. So I know my way around the knife. Um, so what we do is we use this part of the knife and you're just going to bang it. a crack I don't know if you guys can see it but so when you see when you see that crack you want to go a little slower you know so that the crack will spread and then with time it's gonna start seeping some juices We got it perfect coconut. Look at that. It's sticking to the shell. It's white. And another very important step, you want to make sure you <laughs> I'm gonna drink that water again. Y'all hold on. Oh my god, this is good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the meat out of the shell. Like I said, if you buy the coconut fruit and you make it from scratch like that, it's gonna take you another extra two minutes compared to if you just got the meat. So it's up to you. If you are a very busy person, it's certainly okay to get the already taken apart thing one, but I, love having a connection with my food like this so and then the next thing we're gonna do and this and this also involves knife so please be careful you're just gonna go in the bottom watch your fingers guys watch your fingers
very important step. You know, make sure you are eating. Coconut in general is a fantastic fruit. And for those of you who don't drink regular milk, coconut milk is a great alternative. As I said earlier, it contains healthy fats, so your omega-3 and omega-6 in the right ratio. And here in America, in other parts of the world actually, heart disease remains the number one cause of death among Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So having healthy fats in your diet is going to help lower your LDL cholesterol, and the LDL cholesterol is the bad cholesterol, is the one that causes strokes and heart attacks. It's also very good for the brain, it's good for the skin, it's good for the gut, um, because it, it has fiber, and we know that fiber plays a very important role when we're trying to um, keep our gut healthy and also keep our overall body healthy. So coconut, it's do not sleep on coconut. All right, so now that we have separated the meat from the shell, we're going to wash it and it will go to the next, the next stage. So in this next stage, another very important part of this whole process, you wanna make sure you are snapping on the fruit. That's good. It's so good, it's so good. And y'all are gonna do nothing about that. Give me a second. The coconut makes you dance. <laughs> so, this point, you have two options. You can either grate the coconut. If your blender, if you think your, your, your blender is not heavy duty enough to completely blend this all, because it's not very hard. So most blenders will be able to grind it up pretty well. But if you don't have a, a heavy duty blender, you can go ahead and grate it like so before you pour it in there. But my blender can take it. So I'm gonna put it in there directly. Uh, make sure you cut it up into smaller pieces. I advise you to use a chopping board. I don't really do chopping boards. So some other health benefits of coconut is that it has antimicrobial properties. Um, so we live in a time when everybody's trying to boost their immune system. Coconut fruit has a lot of antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. It pretty much kills everything. Um, so this is a good alternative oil. It also is very nutritive because it contains a lot of minerals and a lot of vitamins. And that is you guys' homework. I want you to look up one or two minerals or vitamins or nutrients that coconut is rich in and leave me a comment below on what you find, okay? So now that we've cut up the coconut and it's in the blender, we are going to blend. You wanna start with very little water. Um, I typically don't like my coconut milk very watery, so I do a little water, and then as it gets thick, I can add more water, so here we go. This is it. This is it. I don't know if you guys can see it. And so the next step, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna sieve it, strain it. How do Americans say it? I don't know, but we're gonna use a cheesecloth to separate. So you have your coconut milk. As you can see, it's incredibly easy. 
It's fun to make actually. And as I promised you guys, no part of this fruit is wasted. The chafe, you pour it on a tray or something that you can dry with. And then we'll get to this later. Now that we have our milk, we can pour it into, look at that. Look at how much coconut milk we got from just one fruit. This is about eight, 800 milliliters. What will it be in ounces? I don't know. Y'all do the math. Um, so you can also make coconut drink out of this. And how I make coconut drink is I mix, I add some dates to it and I add some cinnamon to it and I just blend it in a blender. It makes a delicious, healthy, you can even add ginger to it. Um, it makes a delicious, healthy, anti-inflammatory, um, anti-microbial, immune system boosting drink that you can enjoy. Just add some ice to that thing and then you have yourself a delicious drink. Now, let's taste this coconut milk oh my god oh my god this ish right here is the bomb.com now my work is done drop the mic and walk out i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you learn how to make coconut milk and i hope you're gonna go and make your own coconut milk i just have to tell you guys this one more time be very, very safe if you are working with a knife and if you are making the milk from scratch like I did. Do not hurt yourself. So if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Share this video with all your friends and your enemies. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comment below if you tried it and what yours look like, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!